and let's see what's coming your way and I already love what I see we do have the magician and the queen of wands it's Aries Leo Sagittarius maybe in your life and they are all manifesting you probably you manifest them that is this energy of I want I want I want I want I want I want my fire sign uh, the magician with the ace of wands we want them physically we want their presence we want their energy we want their love we simply want everything right and a new beginning plus a new beginning i mean why not the magician and the eight of pentacles and if we have to work also so better be it you know i'm gonna i'm gonna do the effort i'm gonna make the effort i'm gonna do the work you know the everyday life the practicality of it magician and the five of cups okay Somebody feels responsible for what happened. Can be you, can be the other person missing, wanting, longing, having regrets for the reactions and the manipulation that happened. Magician, three of wands, waiting. Can be your energy, can be theirs, right? We'll see as we as we move along with the reading. So bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time and you know how time is fluid in tarot because thank God you have free will and you always have to use a better judgment. We have a little bit of crossroads and we have temperance, maybe a Sagittarius we are dealing with and we are at crossroads about and in two minds. Two of swords, two of wands and the temperance and I'm going to take the magician because we had it all the way through the shuffling, right? Um... Into minds, that's what I'm hearing for the overall energy. Into minds about a situation longing for manifestation, action, and compromise. Might have been a fight every time we see temperance. We know uh, it follows a, a conflict of some sort and negotiations and compromise are needed. In order to um, bring some clarity. Because two of wands, two of swords is really being at crossroads. Knowing that we need to make a choice but unable unable because we don't see the full situation right sorry guys let me have a bit of tea perfect amazing now let's see why are we into minds about what are we into minds about um past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, and let's have, oops, no, this is too many cards, I know it's a big deck and it's kind of the difficult to shuffle, but hey, so let me have the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, nine of wands, somebody is blocking right now, that's why we are confused, well, if they want us, how come in the world... They are blocking this, right? And ghosting. Well, God knows what. So, Gemini, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are dealing with the Sagittarius here. We do have the Temperance twice over here. Um, and in the past, you, you, this is being attached to the commitment, right? Four of Pentacles is like building a firm foundation or believing that they are the one. Um, for some of you, if it's not a Sagittarius, this is um, actually right seeking and longing for uh, balance patience moderation stability money firm foundations that's a four of pentacles but that is this energy of um not really breathing by fear that we might lose something you know that this is how it feels you know and and it's like you know i uh, um holding on to each and every uh, piece of it right uh, be it in terms of uh, finances, be, in, be it in terms of foundations, of manifestation, of love, of decisions. It's like holding on to it. It's like, no, 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 no. There is a sense of blocking even if there are not, no blocking energy. This is how it feels, right? Um, you know, and really focused and paying attention to this situation, to this person, to what was accomplished, to... Um, there's a sense of attachment. Oh, Gemini. Um, this person of yours shows up with the death and the devil. They might have felt that uh, it was too much attachment, too much codependency, too much uh, toxic energy, too much jealousy, too much... And there is a sense of possessing somebody. There is a sense of um, of jealousy and control and um, you are mine and I'm going to watch your every move, kind of. 
and maybe this is why they um like a strong energy of um i don't want to say toxic but you get my point right or at some point they were unable to breathe and of course can be scorpio capricorn energy but with the death i i'm it feels i'm it's, you know that somebody said that it i'm out i mean I, that is only a certain amount of um, of control that we can take in in a life um, and in a commitment and then we say well when it becomes uh, too much and a little bit um, you know a bit, uh, unable to breathe we have to release ourselves and i'm kind of sensing you know even myself i cannot breathe because it's like oh boy you know i am the devil again gemini what in the world um, the devil and the six of pentacles. Oh, yeah, they became toxic. You became toxic. We went spiraling down in a toxic uh, swing, kind of. Because we are paying back, right? Okay, you do this to me. I oh, swear to God, I'm going to do this to you. And probably this is what happened here. And in the process, finances might have been involved or money in the sense that, okay, you're playing the money card. I'm going to play the money card. Or God knows, that is a sense of you holding on to money and unable and willing to compromise and saying okay let me uh pay you back your way because you know we got in a toxic spiral here of course can be a capricorn between you and this person gemini you might be dealing with the scorpio and then there was a capricorn between the two of you a sagittarius and the capricorn uh, between the two of you the whole you know but i'm not sensing it's about people honestly gemini uh, I'm sensing more dynamics and balance and moderation was needed and uh, balance and moderation were not seen um, in past energies because we got so blinded by by the devil energy and so in in, in dynamics of, of some sort and um, and something had to change and I'm, I'm kind of sent I'm kind of sensing that somebody transformed themselves and again you can swap sides the sides right you can take which one resonates. But for this person of yours, death is also a transformation. And because we have temperance as the overall energy and magician, I kind of tend to believe. And it feels like, well, I don't know exactly what I want, but I know precisely what I don't want. You know, this is a little bit how it feels. Um, that kind of energy. And I might be blindfolded about the future. I might be, I don't know, uh, and unable to choose a path and move on but boy i know i no longer want the devil i'll see it coming from afar right uh the dynamic and, and the um so where are we right now gemini well here you are the lovers and the hermit so we are a little bit in retreat trying to understand shine a light with your beautiful mind this is also the energy of thinking about it and contemplating and shining a light and and seeing the situation from A to Z and Z to to A again and um, you know seeing the lessons in it seeing the wits and the smarts in it uh, staying put a little bit um, you know and um, for some of you this is soul's journey right your soul's journey right now and to show up here strong um, you know kind of like well this is me time and this is me equals wisdom time um, and lonely that is a sense of lonely here that is a sense of um i am my only light in the darkness right it's only me being able to guide me in the current situation you know uh spending time in nature i hope you do if not because it's a major arcane i can be lessons and pieces of advice and somebody is actually guided to spend time in nature alone to um you know reconnect with the nature because temperance that is such a beautiful energy of peace and nature gives that um you know um gives that energy gemini this person of yours right now they do have the ten of swords and the ten of pentacles ten of swords ten of pentacles a lot of betrayal and ten of pentacles can be a financial betrayal can be a family betrayal whatever happened the devil in the past between the two of you for them it is the ultimate, the ultimate, the ultimate pain, um, the ultimate frustration, um, hurt. Um, this energy in particular is financially ruined, um, Gemini, so can be 
because somebody is saying, you know, I, I ended it, but it, it came with a lot of uh, financial struggles. I, I don't think they care. But um, again, when we go back to the overall energy, right? Um, the temperance and the magician is like, I'll make the money back. I'll, I'll you know, or I'll find a way. I'll, I'll find my balance in whatever lack of um, resources I might have. But boy, a lot of pain. Okay. They might be sick for some of you. They might be sick. Temperance is also about health and uh, a medicine, right? So they might they might really have um, it, about pills, right? She, well, she's making art, but she's also making something in the... So it's, you know, they might be recovering. Uh, whatever recovery means for them in so many ways. Now, mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the rejection uh, energy right in the middle of the reading. You feel rejected by them. You feel entitled. We do have the emperor. They feel rejected and they feel entitled. You know, the emperor, it's me, right? It's the house of self. It's being entitled. It's, this is me, you know, and I deserve better. And, and I deserve much more than I'm receiving. And, um, and I want to take control and I want to be respected for what I accomplished and what I've given to this connection. And I want to be recognized and I want to be strong and I, I have to have a plan. Both of you in the same energy, right? And I, I, it feels like this, whatever this was, Gemini, took a financial hit for both of you. In the past, you do have the Four of Pentacles holding on to each and every penny in your pocket. And this person of yours betrayed right where they felt more stable. Again, financial can be financial. And the, the emperor speaks a little bit of um, the differences between you and your person. You come together as an energy, one of five of pentacles. It's an energy of poverty and not having enough. And the emperor, the energy of having everything. Maybe not being happy, feeling betrayed, but still financially abundant, you know. But that is this energy, Gemini, where I don't know who's saying that, but that is an energy of you took advantage of my money, you know, that is a strong energy of you took advantage of my, uh, you know, um, social position or, um, you know, having a different uh, or coming with a different energy of um, social status and stuff like this. So, but that was a marriage, actually, I guess, or a commitment that, that felt like marriage, right? It was solid and then we slip into all kinds of devil energies and um, now moving forward we do have the eight of cups good we have some emotional detachment here and the page of pentacles they say give me my money and let's go you know <laughs> kind of energy that is this page of pentacles this is an offer this is a little bit of the um you know what let's uh, sit down and see what we can do because we need our eight of cups we need our emotional detachment we need to kind of close something and be be willing to let go and be willing to move away um and it's good eight of cups is a good energy is finally we can we can make a choice once we get our money somebody here is expecting some money of some sort um page of pentacles and they are coming this is energy coming your way page of a uh, page of pentacles and eight of cups once i get what i want i will feel free to go i will be free to go now this person of yours, Page of Cups and the Hierophant, again this energy of abundance that they have Gemini around them and the Magician and the Hierophant and the Emperor, that is a lot of power. I do believe that I'm picking up the energy Gemini of you dealing with, with somebody in a position of power, are they your boss or somebody they were or somebody up in, up in uh, you know, uh, uh, up the ladder. But um, again, High Priest which is Taurus energy and the Page of Cups. They will come back. They will come back in a sense of um, emotionally, they will um, be back. This is the energy on their side, right? They go from betrayed in their finances to feeling in control again. The Hierophant is all about the institutions, organizations. They may be working for the government. It's the energy of big salary, big benefits, you know, and, and feeling solid and uh, it's the energy of the teacher, the hierophant, right? And higher education, then might be a professor. That, that is the energy of them getting back on whatever in, in their stability they're always wanted, followed by some emotional stability and starting over emotionally or being up, uh, open to emotions again. Uh, mutual energy is coming away. Six of cups. Oh yeah, longing for each other. 
longing for each other, but the seven of wands, right? Still holding on, still fighting for this. One might be blocking, but I'm more sensing that we want this. We are holding our ground with this one. Six of Cups is the energy of missing, longing and wanting. And soulmates and being reminiscent about the past and going through emails and communication and, and um, sharing, you know. Um, and remembering again the moments, those moments of, uh, of sharing. And fighting for this. Nobody's giving up here. Nobody's giving up. But boy, they, they work on themselves. You do that too. You do that too. And quite successfully, I would say. Quite successfully. But there's this energy of um, interdependency, right? You are dependent on them while they are actually abundant. I mean, it's all over the place here. And manifesting abundance and fundamental changes and getting rich and, and having even more. But um, that is this energy of... Um, not giving up they don't give up you don't give up nobody gives up here okay and that is strong energy you'll get your money whoever is waiting expecting i don't know but it's a very strong energy here of let me be patient let me be wise let me be strategic let me fight for this and i'll get what i want now um Let's ask for some... Yes, that is a bond. I'm not seeing a lot of love. I'm seeing a lot of recovery, um, Gemini. Just so you know. Some food for thought, right? So let's ask for some guidance. And we have the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. So yeah, that is love. This is the union of hearts, right? A love connection defies explanations. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. If you are covering all this up with the hermit, guess what? Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. And I love you. These are powerful words. So that is, we are about to say food for thought, no love. And guess what? The guidance came in the completely other direction. I love you. Embrace your emotions. This is the union of the heart. Might be just a bump in the road and we have to keep manifesting. For some of you, the guidance is pretty clear. We have temperance twice. Some of you is, yeah, it's difficult, but we need to compromise. We need to slow down a bit, come from a place of love and forgiveness, being smart, being wise. Emotionally detached from a situation that is very heated also. Right? We do have deception, right? The union of the hearts defies explanation as it has deception in it, right? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So Gemini, you know who that person is. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So in this connection, the betrayal that they have, the Ten of Swords, is because we don't know each other very well, right? And we are willing, somebody is actually keeping under, under wraps the real self. And Gemini, you are guided. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay? It is safe to love them. It is safe. Get to know them and, and you'll see that they are um, worth the while, right? Now let's have the energies coming your the sorry the energies we need to get back into the flow. Gemini, we have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Right, so let's not label them. Let's not judge them. Let's be thankful. Perseverance. That's exactly the temperance, right? I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And we have forgiveness. Oh, yeah. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And we do have gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. 
You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. That is something about forgiveness and gratitude you have it twice. So that is something, Gemini, that you need to be thankful for. That is something that you need to see in a new light because somebody is being generous. Somebody might be giving you their money and their resources and probably we, I don't know, we are guided to be grateful twice. And that is love here. So I'm just saying. Um, and that is a soulmate bond. That is a soulmate connection. This is actually a union of hearts. The union of hearts. A love connection defies explanations. Might be a harsh one. Might be like a twin flame, right? Lessons and pain has to pass in order for us to, to awaken to this connection. But hey, we need to be grateful twice. And forgiveness twice. So, Gemini... Wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe, please, for me. And as always, don't forget to let me know what you think. Share, like, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.